Hi guys, today I will be doing a first impression on my new lace closure I installed. So um, the hair I do have in is the Diamond Virgin Hair Peruvian Straight which I got almost a year ago but I haven't really been wearing it because I have been doing um, crochet braids and trying to grow up my hair but I just want to stay away from crochet braids for a little bit so I decided to go back and wear my virgin hair and I um so I bought a closure because all the closures I have I either messed up or bleached it too much so when I got this closure I didn't want to play around too much with it because I didn't want to bleach it I didn't want to I wanted to dye the hair because I don't know if you can tell but the closure is like a dark brown and the hair itself is like a a black color it's like a soft black because I dyed it soft black using the Revlon um, hair dye so I was going to do that but I didn't want to mess up the closure so I I didn't um so I just made the wig or thousands of videos on YouTube I just sewed the hair like I was sewing my own hair even though I left lo lots of spaces because I wanted it to look as natural as possible and even right now I think it's a little bit um too full but um yeah when the closure came in it the 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 lace wasn't like white like you know when you get a closure it usually is white um the hair the, the lace was it was like a dark brown so um I don't know if that's what the men by bleach bleach knots because on the website it says it has bleach knots but the knots were not bleached the um only the um the lace itself was a dark brown instead of the white you usually get when you buy closures and um the closure is Peruvian straight because the hair I have is Peruvian straight um so I wanted to match that so I got Peruvian straight 12 inches is about $50 between $50 $55 I think and um I would say it came around a week because I really wasn't really waiting for it because I already had um had my hair done so I wasn't like anxiously waiting for the hair so um I think I got it within a week um, I didn't email her I didn't email them so I can't really say anything about customer service but I do I heard they have um, customer service so I thought the hair was from like America but when I got the um when I got the hair it said China and I know the last time I ordered closure and it said China the quality wasn't that good so I was like, maybe I should just send this closure back because I'm tired of wasting my money. I've spent over $200 in closures that I have never really worn. So I was like, you know what? I already paid for it. I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, well, then I'm never going to buy a closure again. So um, I attached this onto the wig I made. It's just like the first time I've done this because... I feel like each time I make a wig, it never goes successfully. That's why I didn't even do a video, because honestly, I didn't even think it was going to look anything like this. But, so I, um, I attached the closure to the wig, and then I, um, put clips. So I have two clips on the side, like right on my edges here. I have two clips on each side. I have one on the back side like on the by my ears and I have one in the back and I have one in the middle and the one in the middle um I did that so I could pull the closure down so it's like um it's like it has tension but um I don't know if you can see but it's not really that smooth because the wig is a little bit big for my head so that's why it might look a little bit puffy which is only because the wig is too big for my head and my cornrows are like gigantic because I didn't just didn't want to I was yeah I was just trying to get my hair done so my braids my cornrows are just horrible and um I did sew I sew it on the wig to my cornrows because I'm not trying to take this wig off anytime soon maybe in like a week or two but I don't want to take this wig out so I'm actually gonna sew I just sewed this side 
Um, so I'm actually going to sew this side again and I'm probably going to pull it down and sew some more just so that we, the wig is not coming out anywhere. Um, so maybe I could even take up the combs, the clips, so my hair um, isn't suffering from any tension. And um, yeah, um, as for the parting, the hair came with like a middle part and I thought maybe the part was twist because I know some, some hair um, things on AliExpress. I don't know if I mentioned I got the hair from AliExpress from Rosa Hair on AliExpress, um, they do tweeze the parts and they tell you middle part, side part, so when the week, when the closure came, it had like a, a middle part, so I was like, I hope this isn't how it's gonna stay, so I watched, well, when I washed it, I brushed from the top down just to make sure the part was gone, and yes, the part was gone, so the hair wasn't tweezed before I got it. Um, and I just twisted now. Um, I didn't. I didn't try to do a lot because I wasn't even going to twist it up. But my partner said I look weird, so when I had, I went and I went ahead and twisted. And usually, I like when I see some videos and like people have concealer. No offense. Um, I I've done that before and it just didn't look natural. So I wasn't about to put concealer on my hair. But I went ahead. I went ahead and put some of my um, Mac Mineralized Skin Finish. I have it in deep dark, and it marched perfectly to my um, my skin tone, which is awesome. It looks really, really natural, apart from the puffy, the puffy look. But um, I am going to tie it as tight as I can tonight, and hopefully, it's going to lay flat because. I want my hair to look as natural as possible. I don't want everyone to know I have a freaking wig on because it's not cute. So um, yeah, the closure I shred I um, I wasn't gonna put any heat on my hair, but the straight hair had a little bit of waviness to it, just a tiny, tiny bit of waviness, and it was puffy. So I shredded it a little bit just to make sure um, to kind of slick it down a little bit, and I used my chi um heat protectant and I put the the um the flat iron like a medium high so it wasn't very high and it wasn't very low so because I didn't want to um apply too much heat on the hair so I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what it looks like all around so that's what I have and um if you guys want me to do a video on how um I I apply how I did all of this. I will do a video, but like I said, I didn't think it was gonna be. I didn't think it was gonna come out like this. Honestly, I thought I was just gonna have to end up um sewing on, like taking up the wig apart, and maybe doing something else. But I'm really glad it turned out the way it did, and um I'm gonna keep, sew some more sew it the wig into my hair. Like I said. I'm gonna try and take this down because I don't have time to mess around my hair. And um, the hair, it hasn't really been shedding. The closure, I mean, hasn't really been shedding. Um, but the hair is shedding, but I won't talk about that. But uh, yeah, this is what I have. And I've left some of my natural hair out. Let's see if I can take it out to show you guys. But right there. I have some of my, my natural hair which I flat ironed. As you can see it blends perfectly. You can't even like I can't even see it. I'm looking through my camera. I can't even see my hair, but the the um my hair blends with the hair. My flat iron natural hair blends um with the closure, so I don't wanna <laughs> make this video too long, it's probably already too long, but um I just wanted to show you guys my new hair, I dyed my hair back to black. <laughs> I dyed my hair back to black. This is like a jet black, which looks weird. It looks like a blue back blue black to me. But um and I'm not gonna layer this because <sighs> I don't wanna mess around with hair. Yeah. But um I hope this video was helpful and um you guys have a great day and I will put the link to where I got the closure from so you guys should check it out. Um, I think her prices are affordable. Um, she she does have um 
different textures of hair and um, I'm not paid to do any to do, do this video so you guys shouldn't think like oh she got the hair free and she's saying good things about the hair but this is an initial review just my initial thoughts about the hair um yeah yes 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 it's flowy oh tangles <laughs> but yeah you guys have a great day bye bye